holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. And please invite your friends so we can have some good time together. You know, uh, the Muhammadan, you know, there is a statement always we say, which is Islam without lies <clears throat> dies. Islam without lies dies. And uh, we prove it to you over and over and over. But some of the lies is, is beyond stupidity. I mean, it's really funny. It's so stupid. It's kind of a comedy. And actually, this is what, you know, attract many of you to be here. Uh, maybe many of you are not, is not really, I mean, he's not expecting to be a scholar in something uh, or an, uh, a debater or, you know, he just, you know, he learned. But the best part of it for many of you is the comedy. And today, it is no different. The comedy of this religion beyond the stupidity. If you remember, not a long time ago, uh, David Wood, he had a video of this guy. We have his picture in the screen. And we will play this video, maybe later. But this just to show you, I mean, how far their lies and their fictions and their antichrist movement go. No shame. And why you would have a shame? You are following Satan. Listen to this guy who claimed to be a pastor. He claimed to be what? He was, was a Christian pastor. And by the way, he never gave a name of a church he used to be and, or an address. So we can call them and see which church he used to be to. Uh, a lousy person who have no jobs, and then this became a business. Great salary, conferences, go around the world, free food, free five stars, hotels, respect everywhere, the Muslim clap for him, whatever he say, even he is farting. And this is an example. Christian, did you ever have any doubts about Christianity? Well, actually, at one point in my life, I was so involved in Christianity, believing in it, that I thought it was everything until I began to find mistakes in the Bible, mm -hmm. serious mistakes in the Bible. Serious mistakes. And then it made me begin to doubt, not doubt about God, no, but to doubt about the Bible. And mm -hmm. what about Christianity? Some of the things that we think about when we talk. Guys, look at, uh, look at the one who made the video. A lot of author, but not Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, you idiot. I mean, the stupidity is stupid. You know, when we speak about the Bible, the Bible is a book of books. It's not a book, you donkey. Secondly, when we say that uh, John, he say, we say John, he say. We don't say Jesus say. And John, he quote what Jesus say. At the end of the day, it is Jesus saying. So who is the author? I mean, look, and, and now, but this guy, he found mistakes. Serious mistakes. What are they? Talk about this subject is, why is it called Christianity? Because if look, look, look at this guy, what he's added to the video. Bible was written over a period of 1,500 years by 40 different you know, Abdul. Because uh, uh, this this book is writing about about about, 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 about Musa and, and about. And about uh, uh, Jesus, so we can make them in the same period and you don't get upset. Ah, 
That is a good logic, Mohammedan. Okay, continue, Abdul, continue. Call me the time. Because if it's called Christianity, it means you have to follow Jesus uh -huh. Christ. But what about all the people before that? Look what he said. He said, well, you know, uh, actually, uh, this guy, he's adding uh, 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 text. I want to show you his, his, uh, for, uh, his face when he speak. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> Did you notice what he said? He found serious mistakes in the Bible. And what is this serious mistake? Well, how in the world, how in the world, uh, you Christian, you call yourself a Christian? And what, Many people ask. what is the problem? Well, if you call yourself a Christian, then what about people before Christ? He wasn't here. What about Adam? It's Christ. Because if it's called Christianity, it means you have to follow Jesus uh -huh. Christ. Yeah. But what about all the people before that? They couldn't have known about him because he wasn't. <laughs> I want to hear it again. Say it again, again. Because if it's called Christianity, it means you have to follow Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Okay. But what about all the people before that? Yeah. They couldn't have known about him because he wasn't here. All what right. about Adam? Abraham. About Adam. Moses. Abraham. David. David. Suleiman. Suleiman. All the prophets. All of them. And then. What about Jesus himself? Jesus himself. Did he say I'm a Christian? Did Jesus himself is a Christian? <laughs> you know, I don't know. For some reason, when you follow this religion, you have a brain of a chicken. You don't kiss on our I will go with your logic. As long they should not be called a Christian, because that means what people be allowed be people before them. So why use stupid Quran call them Christians and use the word Nasara? Huh? Donkey? How come the Quran never say the Christians? He not he never say he called them Nasara. If we type the word Nasara here, you son of Muta. Those are street people, you know, in America there's a lot of garbage and they have no job and Islam is a good business. And the coward, he claimed that he used to be a Christian pastor and he discovered that later. He discovered that. Do you see your stupid book? All those words, it doesn't call the Christian any, it doesn't call the Muslims, call them Nasara, 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 Nasara. Okay, what about Adam? Nasara, Nasara. Okay, what about Moses? As Nasara, Nasara, but, but Moses is not Nasara. So do you, see the, do you see the low class? And nobody there says to him, you donkey, this is the same as in our book. In our book, we call them Nasara, and the Muslim translate this as a Christian. Do you see it? Do you see it? So if, the, if this is a mistake in the Bible to call the Christian Christians, because what about Adam? Hey, what about uh, Abraham? Uh, what about so the stupid donkey Aka Allah? He called the Christian Nasara why? And here we see the word Sabian. Hey, okay. I thought this name should not be exist. What about Abraham? The Sabian they worship stars, and Muhammad he promised them to go to heaven. Hey, what about Adam? What about Moses? Sabian? Okay, what about Yehud? Here it says Yehud. And actually in the same stupid video, he used the word Yehud, the donkey. So why you call them Yehud? Why you don't call them Muslims? Why you don't call the Christian Muslims instead of saying Christians or Nasara? Why you don't call the Sabian Muslims instead of saying Sabian? And why you don't call the Jews Muslims instead of saying Jews? And this is the serious mistake you found in the Bible? Do 
you see how far the stupidity of this religion? But I'm not expecting them to be smarter. <clears throat> if you remember, there's a verse in the Quran. Muhammad, he could not refute the Jews, neither the Christians. So what he said to them? Why oh, you debate about Abraham? I need, I need uh, Ali Dawa to make the voice of Ali Dawa. He, he have a voice of a turtle when she is doing delivery of eggs. Look at this logic. Look at this donkey. What kind of God he says such a thing? Oh, people of the book, why you are arguing about Abraham when the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him? Will you not reason? So the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that the one who come after, he cannot debate the one who come before him. So why you are debating them, you donkey? Aren't you the last? Is it even the Muhammad and they say Muhammad is the last prophet? That's what the verse is saying. The verse is saying the one who come after, he cannot debate about the one who came before him. Read carefully. Oh, people of the book, why don't you argue about Abraham when Torah and Gospel were not revealed to every him? Huh? This is Ali Dawa. Now, Zach and Nike read it in a different way. Oh, people of the book. Why well, don't argue about Abraham when the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed until after him? Were well, you not even? What the heck? Wow. What a super intelligence. Now, this is the same donkey is the one who taught us about the origin of the Catholic Church. Yes, a brother. This guy he went to the Catholic website and he found something very embarrassing. He discovered something you will never believe how damaging it is. And you will notice how Muslims, they clap for him for the information, for the prize this information he gave. Uh, your perspective on a clip from Sheikh Yusuf Estes. Uh, the clip is from a, a Catholic woman asks him a question about how he became a Muslim and so on. He starts interacting with her. But uh, then Sheikh Yusuf Estes explains the origin of the Catholic Church. And I wanted to bring this up just because the, the clip is, has millions of views and there are people who take him uh, seriously on this. So uh, okay. ready to watch a video clip? All right. You might think I'm a Catholic, I'll never be anything but a Catholic. But I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to be honest. This is not for you to, you know, start a debate, but just be honest. Was Jesus a Catholic? <laughs> hey, Christians, hey, Catholic, or Jesus a Catholic, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Abdul. Uh, was Muhammad Shia or Sunni? Uh, I'm just asking, please. I think he was Ahmadiyya. Um. <laughs> so this is the first question. This is hit in the head, like a nail in the head. I mean, come on. And right away, the Muslim, they will start, hey, Allahu Akbar, our smartest in the stage. It? And it's not open to debate, so there's no point in opening that up because you know and I know he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> the Catholic Church was in business about 300 years before Jesus was born. Catholic Church has existed 300 years before Jesus was born. I mean, what's wrong with those Christians? Why, I mean, how in the world you do not know that? You Christian, you have something wrong with you. I don't know what you eat. I don't know what you drink. I have no idea. I think you are getting your information from, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, shake, uh, shake. The prophet say that shaitan, he take hair from your ass, your anus when you pray. Is the information you receive is due to the hair unblocking from your anus? Because I hear a lot of pain with it. Is that coming from your mouth or coming from you? What, what you just said? The Catholic Church exists 300 years before Christ? I did not hear that correctly. I think maybe he said three months, maybe three months. There's no way he said 300 years. I think he said three months. 
Just uh, say it again. And it's not open to debate, so there's no point in opening that up. It's not open to debate. Listen carefully. This is not, this is a fact. This is a fact. This is not open to debate. <laughs> hey, hello? Uh, because you know and I know he wasn't. You know and I know. I mean, do you know what I know? You know what I know and you know not what I know and I do not know what do you know, so we do not know what you know. The chapter of Al-Kafirun. I eat my hummus, you eat yours. The Catholic Church was in business about 300 years before Jesus was born. That's deep. It's on their website. Don't go like this. It's on their website. It's on their website. And this poor woman, she doesn't know what he's talking about. She shakes her head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in their website. Hey, Muslims. I have a challenge for the all, all the donkeys in the world, including your prophet. Who want to go to the Catholic official website and get us the information that the Catholic churches exist 300 years before Jesus? Who want to do that and I will buy him a free ticket one way to Afghanistan? Hmm? Are you sure it's only 300 years before Jesus? Not 302 years? I heard 302. I'm not sure, like, you know? I mean, the number is, it sounds like this guy, he watched the 300 Spartan and the number is stuck in his head, the 300. The Catholic Church was, exist 300 years before Christ. What's wrong with those people? And you can find it in their official Catholic website. You Muslims, I have a project for you. Who want to show us that in the Catholic website? Website, don't go like this. It's on their website. That's don't, say, don't, do, don't do this in your head. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that in your head, okay? It's in their website. I took it from. The Catholic Church was really started in Rome by Alexander the Great. <laughs> oh, Alexander the Great, you donkey son of Muta. As long as you mention Alexander the Great, you donkey, don't you know that Alexander the Great is in your book? And Allah, he named him as a prophet and he called him Dhul Qurnayn. Let us go to the book of the donkey Muhammad. And by the way, don't be insulted for calling him donkey and just giving him a rank. Your prophet don't even deserve to be called a cockroach. Uh, but, you know, I, I mean, I have some extra ranks. I'm going to give them out for free. Look at the Zulqarnayn in your Quran. Isn't it the Zulqarnayn is the one, Zulqarnayn is, Alexander the Great is the one who built Alexandria? And this is your interpretation book says? Isn't it him who found the sun set in murky water? <laughs> and, this is, and this is the guy... He found a lot of mistakes in the Bible. This is not a mistake. This is true. You know, the sun set the murky water. Me, myself, as an Arabian, always we notice that the sun set the murky water. Always, always, always. I mean, you woke up in the morning, you go to the ocean. The ocean in Arabia, by the way, is not an ocean. It's a murky spring. Yeah, yeah, if you go in the map, the Muslim, they try to fix this verse. So they say to you, brother, brother, it's a do the sun set in water. Let just me hold on. Let me find Zakir Naik so we can make the comedy better. Zakir Naik explain where the sun set. Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I'm talking now. Let us see. What is Zachary Naik speaking about the sun set in murky water?
the search again. Change the search word. Okay, I found a video, but it's uh, it's a very old uh, video. Let us see. I'm trying to find something new. What the hell? Zach and Nike don't have a new video about the sunset in murky water? <laughs> okay, let us see. Okay, we will, we will use an old uh, video of Zakura. The other point Sir William Campbell raised was regarding Surah Kahaf, chapter number 18, verse number 86, that Zulkar name sees the sun setting in murky water, in turbid water. Imagine, Imagine. sun setting in murky water. Ima sunset. Imagine. The Arabic word used here is, uh -huh. it is wajada, meaning... The it, guy, he don't speak Arabic, take a note. This guy here, he don't speak Arabic, and now he would teach Arabic. Do you remember this guy who debated David Wood, Perfect Dawa? In his channel, he was schooling David Wood in Arabic. In my channel, he was a chicken. <laughs> so the word there is what? Is wajada. Okay, what wajada mean? It appeared to Zulkarni. If, 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 if the word wajada mean it appear? Guys, the word wajada in the Quran, it means it appear the Turkurnain. So you don't kiss enough muta. As long as the word wajada mean it appear, so why the Muslim don't translate it appear? They say they found it. All Muslim <laughs> translation, it says he found it. <laughs> The word wajada. Go watch the, uh, the, the, the Fifi. Fifi, he made a video to review me. It doesn't say Fifi. Wajada, wajada, mean he found it, but it can mean something not real. Oh, the verse in the Quran, in the same chapter, he said that he found the, a, a wall is going to fall down. Does it mean it's real, you stupid idiot? Yeah, it's real. It's a, it's a wall. <laughs> It's a wall, you donkey. Is it not real? It's a wall made up of bricks. So look here, brother. Zach and Naik, he tried to fix it. And this is Al-Qurnayn, the guy he's talking about. is the one who found the founder of, 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 uh, of the Catholic Church, according to this uh, Yusuf estate. He's a prophet in Islam. <laughs> and he was, a, he was a bisexual, this guy. He sleep with men and women and boys. So... Till he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it. Where is the word that appear? Change it to any translation you want. Wajadaha, you can copy the word near in Arabic and use Google translation even if you do not know Arabic. You can take a screenshot right now for the verse, open an Islamic website, count the words, you know, and the word I highlighted there, you copy it, and you paste it in Google Translation, peace be upon him. And the stupid Google Translation will tell you that wajada means he found. So those stupid people who try to defend their cult, we die laughing at their lies. And now I think you understand why we say Islam without lies dies. But you know, I'm really disappointed that Zulkarnayn, who, who found the sunset, is the same person who, who, who is the one who is the founder of the Catholic Church. <laughs> Last time I was in Greece, I went to a city, it's called Thessaloniki. I don't know if any of you know it. And there is a, there is a statues for Alexander the Great. And I spoke to the statues. I said to him, it is you who is causing all those problems to Muhammad. You, it is you who made millions of people leave the, the garbage of Muhammad and don't believe in Islam no more. It's you, Zulqurnayn. And by the way, the Muhammadan, because they are super intelligent, if you ask them who is Zulqurnayn, Zulqurnayn means the guy who have two horns. But doesn't mean he's, he's a cow, is he? <laughs> have you ever heard of a god? You speak about a guy, you call him the guy with the two horn. I mean, don't he have a name? 
Don't you have an ID? The guy with the two horn. Yeah, the Zulqurnayn, you see, they don't translate it because it's funny. Zulqurnayn, do, is mean the, like the, the one with something, you know? Al-Qurnayn, Qurn, Qurn is a horn. Two Qurnayn is two horn. So the guy with the two horn. So we have a guy who his name is Allah. He want to tell us about the previous generation. He do not know the name of the guy who he's talking about. He knew the famous name, which is in a story written by a Syrian author about a fiction story about the guy of the two horn. Why do they call it this way? Because those Roman, they used to wear <laughs> like a hat with horn in the war time to scare the enemy. So this stupid Muhammad, he said, Allah told me, even Allah, he called him Zulkarnayn. And then Zulkarnayn, the brother, he keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, until he found where the sun set. And then the Muslim, they tried to fix it, and they used duct tape, as usual. So they say, it doesn't mean say that, CP. It appeared to him, but Abi Abdul, it says he found it, and the one who's talking is Allah. So if, he, if the find is wrong, why Allah is not fixing the wrong? He says he found it. Do you see Allah making commentary saying, uh, and he was wrong? Allah, he said, he found, he said, he did not say it appeared to him. He found it. The guy is not even talking. Allah reporting what he, what he found. And later we find that Muhammad, you know, peace be upon him. He always, you know, he's a, he speaks jeweler, jewelries. Read it, Muhammad, he said. If I am there, you know, speaking to Zakir Naik, I would say to him, you donkey, isn't your prophet, he said this? I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, not me, by the way, this is the narrator. I will never sit in the front, neither behind Muhammad. I don't want to be accused of anything. This guy had a very bad reputation in sexual things. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S, it's like a short wave something. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting? He asked, do you know where this set? Look, Muhammad, he liked to ask, you know, he's an educational person. I mean, a journey with Muhammad, imagine you are riding a donkey behind Muhammad for the coming 2,000 mile. How much knowledge you learn? How much? You will not believe it. You will learn a lot about geography, astronomy, everything. So do you know where the sun set? Hmm? Hmm. Brother, the Muslim claims that Rukhurnayn, guy named Saras, no, that's false. Because if you go to Ibn Kathir, you will see even there it says he is the one who built Alexandria. Anyway, uh, I replied he said to him, Allah and his messenger knows best. And here you see that the Muslims are mushrikeen. They are people who associate God with man. They associate even the knowledge of God, making it equal to the man. Allah and his apostle knows best. Both of them he knows best. Not Muhammad is nobody. Allah is knows best. Muhammad knows best. Mushrikeen, Kufar, he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. So, you know, those people who, you know, speak to us, trying to uh, lie to Christians who have no education, and they can for them, because many of the Christians, sadly, they don't know the Bible, they do not know history, and those people, and did you notice how many people are clapping for this guy when he was saying such an amazing information? Did you notice how many people, thousands of people, hey, clapping with their hands? You know what the word Catholic means? What? It means universal. Okay. It was the universal church for the Roman Empire. If you didn't join it, you could not be a Roman citizen. And it was opposed to the teachings of Judaism and opposed to the teachings. But this is this is a word written in the Bible before before, before any any Roman became became a became a Christian. You eat <laughs> the word universal. <laughs> uh, and the Muslims and, and this is a conference, and you know they, they make those conferences in like places like Qatar. And what they do, you see those people. They ask them to come in the microphone. Those are poor employees from countries like Philippines, uh, you know, they put a pressure on you. Go there and even they give you the question to ask it. 
and you have to be polite. You cannot argue with them, otherwise you might end dead. In the best scenario, they will kick you out of the country. So, what about this coward? I call this coward, and they have a program, it's called the Dean Show. I call them, they never let me go through. And I, I post a call in the, in the internet, in, in YouTube. They are a bunch of potatoes, liars, fabricators. They have no dignity. And those are people doing business. This guy, he was having no jobs in USA. He cannot pay his rent. He cannot pay for his food. Then he found Islam is the biggest business because now when, when somebody converts to Islam and he is blonde, an American Muslim, they use that for propaganda. You see, always Muslims, they have the focus on two things. A blonde man or a woman or a famous black man, like Muhammad Ali as an example. And the purpose of, of, of this is just to make more people join the cult of Islam. What, what, why we will join? Okay, we will lie to you. The second you start investigating why anyone will join this cult, you will find that this is absolutely stupid cult and only donkeys will join it. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, as, as we know, uh, the problem is the Muslims, because they are following Islam, when a Muslim he lie, Muslims they don't stand against the lies. As long as you are a Muslim, you can lie as much as you want. If I am the one who said this, Muslim they will make videos about me, they will laugh at me, they will make it a comedy tragedy. But their imams or their leaders, or the, if we can call them leaders, money leaders, they can lie as much as they want. Like uh, you know, this potato ketchup boy, you know, the duck, what's his name, uh, Uthman, or any one of them. If you lie, it's okay, as long as you are defending Islam, you can lie. Because we are in war, and we have to win the war, and war is deception. This is the mentality of the religion of Islam. War is deception. And they believe they are in war with us. <laughs> That's why the Quran says, he will spread, Allah will spread hatred and enmity until the day of judgment, in chapter 5, verse 14. Let us continue reading or listening to this idiot and so on. <laughs> teachings of the early Christians for more than 200 and some years. And they were diametrically opposed to each other to the extent that it was the Romans killing the early Christians. Now, if you understand that and you go to their... Guys, the Roman, they were killing the early Christians because the Roman, they were Christians. <laughs> mean universal from the Greek Catholicos. Oh, okay. What from you we learn, my friend? No, Catholic mean Catholic mean universal. This is true. <clears throat> uh, but this is not really important for us because we know in the beginning, even if the, the churches when when they were divided, both of them they were fighting over, over the name uh, Orthodox, not even Catholic. Orthodox, which means a straight way, like the, the one who did not change anything, you know. Uh, but all, all those things that mean nothing for us, you know, the name of a church mean nothing anyway, you know. Uh, usually, like even when, when, the, when they call us Christians, it's not the Christian they start calling themselves Christians, but people because they knew that those are the one who follow Christ. Uh, Is a Christian, you know, as simple as that. There's a video I'm trying to find for this guy so we can love more. <clears throat> and the word Catholicos is universal, actually. Uh, let us see, I'm trying to find. Yeah, I will try to find the video. But anyway, as you see, there is no shame, there is no stupid, the, the, the stupidity is, is beyond imitation, and their lies is, is uh, amazing. Uh, do we have any question? We finished the comedy for you. 
if there's any question. Uh, here you see, by the way, another lawyers. Uh, DJ, he says, uh, Catholic, uh, Catholic uh, they pray to Mary and they bow to statues. Uh, you know, there is some practice for sure we don't agree with, with the Catholic, but the Catholic, they don't pray to Mary and you are a liar. They ask Mary to pray for them. They say, Mary, pray for us, we are the sinners. So you are a liar. <laughs> and uh, there is other person, he posts for me a comment, says, Go and see the Catholic Bible, the Ten Commandment is different. Go to the Catholic Bible, the Ten Commandment is exactly the same as the Protestant Bible. Don't let people fool you, you know, don't copy paste. There's many dummy, stupid people in the corner, every corner. Anyway, uh, our topic here is not the Catholic. Our topic is how they lie and how they fool you and how they try to divide you. You see the Muslims here, they are using the word Catholic, so we can get a dumb here from somewhere, claim to be Christian, so we can be divided. This is the whole game. The whole game is how we can divide the Catholic and the Protestant and the Orthodox, so they can fight. And there's many people who claim to be Christians. They love division, the for they are following Satan. They are not following God, and they are not following Jesus. People who love Jesus, they love the Catholic, they love the Protestant, they love the Orthodox, and even they love the Muslims. Those who never met Jesus, they never know Jesus, they are into division. All the three major churches, they believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Someone saying they pray to Mary, though. No, they don't. You are a liar. Go and listen to them. I mean, I hate to, to, to talk to donkeys. I hate it. Donkeys is my enemies. Catholic don't pray to Mary. They ask Mary to pray for them. And the prayer they say, you idiot, you donkey. It's in the Bible. When the angels, they came to Mary, they said to her, Shalom, Mary. Blessed you are between the women. This is in the Bible, you donkey. I hate donkeys. Not the animals. I love the animals. But the animal, but the human and donkey, that is a shame. Stop lying. Stop lying to yourself before you open your anus, your mouth, I mean. Go and read. People have anus these days. They don't have a mouth. I am not a Catholic, but don't lie about them. Do you guys even go read and see what those people believe and then they come to us and see you? Don't follow priests and ministers who, who lie to you from either side. Donkeys. Garbage in, garbage out. Like Muhammad. Many of you like Muhammad and you know, you don't know what you are talking about. Brainwash. You do not know. If you do not know, if you are not sure, if you do not study, deeply study, not from a guy who made a, a speech for you in a video, like now, I said to you, the Catholic, they have the same Ten Commandments. Go and read it in their Bible translation. Go check it out. Don't listen to me. I said to you, no, this is exists in the Bible. Blessed to you. Shalom to you, Mary. Blessed you are between the women. And then they say, pray for us, we are the sinners. This is what they say, pray for us, we are the sinners. Pray for us. They are not praying to her. They are asking her to pray for them. And here you notice how stupid people are. They think now I'm attacking the Protestant. Let me disable the chat, a bunch of donkeys. This is what I hate about stupidity, honestly. Donkeys. If you think you are better than the Mohammedan, you are mistaken, many of you. You do not know what you are talking about. Before you talk about the Protestant, go study. Before you talk about the Catholic, go study. Otherwise, you are a certified donkey. Don't listen to the liars. Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox, they are Christians. Whoever say no, he is no Christian. 
I don't care if you like the Pope or not, I don't like him myself. But what does that have to do with the Christian with the Christianity? Christians is the one who believe in Jesus. It is the Messiah who said who is the Christian, not you, not the Protestant, not the Catholic, not the Orthodox. Whoever believe in me and I will live. Stop being a donkey. You are a certified donkey if you follow anything except what Jesus said. The vision is from the devil. And the Bible speaks about universal church. One church. There's no Catholic, there's no Protestant, there's no Orthodox. This is your evil division. This is your evil priest who is like Muhammad. Islam came to divide more. Evil priest, Warak ibn Nufal. is evil priest. One more evil priest. And this is the Quran. And you people who divide the Christians, you are satanic. You are following Allah and the proof in the front of you. You are not following Jesus. Anyone who take a side, I don't care what side you take. You are satanic. You are not Christian. Satan is your God. Aka Allah, Aka Muhammad. And this is his plan in front of you. For me, anyone who believe in Jesus as Lord, as Savior, who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, who believe that there is no way, no salvation, except by Christ and the Christ only. That is my brother in Christ. You call yourself Catholic, you call yourself, uh, well, I don't care what you call yourself, a house, a tree, call yourself, or who care? Human being, he love to be labeled. And I will give you a label if you wish, a donkey. But a donkey is a peaceful animal. You don't hurt. There's many people here, they are they don't deserve even the label of donkey. Donkeys are noble compared to human. They don't kill. Have you ever heard of a donkey killing a human? Maybe rarely. But a human kills a human every day. Or he is evil. And if you could not learn that Jesus is about love, you learn nothing about Jesus then. If you could not learn that a Catholic person, even if you think he's wrong, this person, he loved Jesus, he worshiped Jesus, he prayed to Jesus. If you do wrong, you do wrong too. You people remind me of the Pharisees in the time of Jesus. Who do you think they are superior? Who do you think they are the best? So when a sinner or woman, she came in to speak to Jesus, they start talking about him. How he allows such a low trashy women to talk to him oh look he is talking to uh, uh, you know talking to a tax collector the Jews they say tax collector you Jesus talking to tax collector do you know how people hate the tax collector this is what you do or you never learn anything about Jesus the one who said, love your enemy. And the enemy at that time is not even the, they are not even the neighbor or a Christian. They are, they are the people who they are killing them, literally. He told them time will come and people, they will think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. And the stupid you, you cannot even love your brother in Christ. Why? Because the devil is occupying your heart and you never learn any word about Jesus. Because you listen to priests or listen to Muhammadan, you are hateful like the Muhammadan who hate everybody around them. They hate even animals, pigs, cross, uh, 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 lizard, everything is an enemy to Allah, music, chess, anything, phobia, and you have a phobia. When people will learn that Christ is for everybody and whoever believe from this everybody in Christ, he is a Christian. 
from the everybody, from the black, from the from the white, from the Asian, from whatever color, from whatever ethnic, from whatever language. Christ is for everybody, and no church on Christ. He is not a product. He is not made by Apple or Android. This is what you do now. You are trying to label yourself to be a product. Cowardly. Yet you claim to be Christian. In fact, you are a Muslim. Sometimes disabling the chat is the best way. So you don't see how stupid a human being is. And why I'm surprised. I mean, open the TV station. Go check in YouTube. Who is the most popular video? Is a woman wearing short skirt and she is doing off a grid video. Or taking a shower in a, in the in the in the wild and she is naked. And YouTube will never take her video down for nakedness. But YouTube will take our video down for we speaking about nakedness. So I'm not surprised if we have a lot of sick people who claim to be something, but the fact they are the opposite. Every Christian knows that Christianity is Jesus. But at the same time, there's many Christians. The devil is in their heart, like Muhammad. And they are driven by the devil and hatred. So they try to divide the Christian church to be divided eating each other. When you see a priest, he's teaching evil stuff against other church. You know, you should know immediately. He is not presenting Christianity. And he is not speaking for, for Christ. You do not need to be genius. Jesus in the cross, he forgave the Jews, the Jews who killed him. Not the different Jews, the Jews who put the nails in his hands and they were screaming in the same moment, there's blood in our hands. This is Jesus. What do you know about him? You know nothing. If the Lord himself, he forgive the one who just put the nails in his hand, the one who hanged him in the cross, the one who spat in his face, and you cannot even love somebody, he is a person, he have a picture in the church. Oh, he have a picture in the church. They pray, pray in front of the picture. Oh, disgusting. This is against the Ten Commandments. But all, if all your life are doing things against the Ten Commandments, at least if they do it, and I don't agree with it, they do it because they love Jesus, not because they are evil. But you, seeing porn, and seeing <coughs> naked pictures, and seeing all movies have porn these days, I mean, name for me one movie is not a porn. And you enjoy them, and you speak about actors as if they are the stars of your life, when in fact they are nothing but porn stars. But when a poor cat, like he have an icon in front of him, oh God, look what he's doing, he's doing something wrong. You know, they are praying in front of an icon, what disgusting. <laughs> what a bunch of donkeys. <laughs> Sometimes what is lovable is sad, sad, but for me, I'm always happy. I don't care, really, for I know the truth, and the truth will set me free. Who want to go to hell, he go to hell. Who want to go with Jesus, he will go to Jesus. And that invitation is open for everybody, for the Protestant, for the Catholic, for the Orthodox. Follow me, that is Jesus. Not follow priest, not follow the Pope, not follow the Protestant. Don't follow them. Follow Jesus, my friend.